Hey, 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 yo, Mario, you might want to wake up for this one. We got some lit news. Oh, we have our tail! Reggie Pisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays? everybody how are y'all doing we have some epic nintendo news for you boys and girls we have some pretty pretty dope news but before we get started you already know give the video a huge thumbs up also i will be doing a switch oled giveaway for the channel if i can get my hands on two consoles pre-orders still haven't gone up yet make sure you're one subscribe to the channel two follow me on twitter for the giveaway let's get to the news the switch oled has been announced and let's keep it a buck the internet wanted a pro version a stronger switch model but some are saying, oh, that means we're not going to get a Switch Pro. We're just going to get a next-gen Nintendo console. I am of the leaning where not, Nintendo's not going to just go to another generation yet. They're going to milk the Switch generation a little longer with a Switch Pro. Here's my reasoning why. Um, just based on their history, check out what they did with the 3DS. And you can't look at the timeline of the 3DS as an indicator on um, when it's going to happen. But you can look at what they did with the 3DS to see that it more than likely will happen. The original 3DS came out March 2011. And then they came out with what was just the 3DS XL, a bigger screen 3DS just a year after. Now, this is why you can't just look at what they're doing with the Switch. This is the, uh, the Switch OLED is the 3DS XL. Same exact specs on the inside, but a, a larger, better screen. Nintendo then announced a 2DS. They went in the opposite direction. The 2DS is the Switch Lite. They made it more compact. They took out what was the premier feature of the 3DS. The fact that it has 3D. And they took out the 2D. What is the premier feature of the Switch? That it could switch a handheld and home console. They took out the Switch out of the Nintendo Switch with the Switch Lite. So this was the Switch Lite. You already see that they went out of order. They went large screen with the 3DS and then they went back to the Lite. With the Switch, it was different. But hold on, just stick with me. I'm going to let y'all know when the, when the Pro model is launching. And then... They had the new 3DS, the new 3DS, which was more powerful. They came out with the new 3DS. And then they came out with the new 3DS XL, which was a bigger screen and more powerful. They did end <coughs> the um, 3DS um, lifespan with a... Um, new Nintendo DS XL. They had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, six different DS 3DS iterations. Brings me to the Switch OLED. We have the original Switch which launched, and then a lot of people have already forgotten. Nintendo came out with the version two Switch. There was a Switch version two 
with a longer battery life. Then the Switch Lite, now the Switch um, OLED. This is, they're going into their fifth year. At the end of this, 2021, the Switch would have been on the market for a, 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 a close to five years. Nintendo usually, now historically from the NES, Super Nintendo, from the, I know from the Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64, and then to the GameCube, every five years, a new generation. They changed it with the Wii. We went a little longer. This is what I'm predicting is going to happen with the Switch. We're going to get the Switch OLED this October, holiday 22. It's gonna be a Switch OLED, but it's going to have more power. It may, they may call it the Switch OLED Plus or new Switch OLED, but it's going to be the same screen, but they're gonna actually give it a better um, GPU or CPU or more RAM inside the next iteration of the Switch. So, what I'm, just based on what Nintendo's done in the past, they've had six iterations of the DS, 3DS. So far, we have four iterations of the Switch, including the Switch OLED. And I really think, I don't think, to jump for Nintendo to just ditch the Switch, ditch the Switch bars, <coughs> I don't think they're doing that this soon. The Switch is too successful for Nintendo to stop. Who knows, the Switch just may be what Nintendo does from this going forward. They may not even have another console generation as far as line. It may ju just be the Switch OLED Plus, and then when they finally go to a next generation, it'll probably be called the Switch 2, and Nintendo just continue with the whole Switch uh, moniker, have all their games, all their... Um, development resources and just one console. I really don't see Nintendo ever going back to dividing their, they made a, actually they made a permanent adjustment in their structure of their company because before the Switch, and this should have been a telltale sign that they were gonna, the Switch was just gonna be one hybrid console. Before the Switch was even announced, Nintendo announced they're merging their handheld and home divisions. That they, they, they made a permanent merger. And so I really don't see, or even if they come out with the home console and a handheld, it's going to be the same games that can play on both consoles. But I don't see Nintendo dividing even the consumer base as far as even with that. I think if they're always going to go this approach. It works for them right now. PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are the hottest consoles in the market. And I guarantee you, if I pull up, let me pull up VG charts real quick. VG charts, I bet you the Switch is outselling both of them. VGcharts.com, watch this. For this past, the most recent week that they have, the Xbox sold the total globally 136,000. PS5 sold globally 226,000, almost double. But the Switch has sold 375,000. The Switch is a four year old, I don't think y'all understand this. It's a four year old console going on five year olds and it's outselling the brand new next gen hardware. Nintendo found a winner, bro. Nintendo found a winner, they've carved out their own lane. And each of the three console makers have carved out their own lane. Switch, the hybrid model, PlayStation, um, just straight home console, and Xbox going the subscription route. It's working for all three. At the end, gamers get more choice, competition. We all win, brah. Will I be picking up a Switch OLED? Yeah. Nintendo got me. They get me all the time, bro. I'm going to be paying <laughs> $350 dollars for the same console, but a better screen. And at the end of the day, it's your preference, what you wanna do. I like the white, I like the white though. The white looks sleek. It's gonna match my PS5, my game room setup, so we lit. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. Um, I do have one more news item 
I'll talk about it tomorrow. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Outro. Where's my outro, bro? You think I'd already have it up? Thank you.